What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John Plays here, and welcome back to more great, great coverage of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. A small, slight heads up, I am going to be giving you guys a very, very minor spoiler warning here. So hear me out first before you turn away. The spoiler I'm going to let you know, this is about an item that you receive when you get every single shrine completed, all 116 shrines. Also, I'm going to be ranting and getting a little upset and telling you what the item you get when you get all 900 Korok Seed puzzles. So these four items, if you don't want to know what those four items are, turn away right now. If you want to know what these four items are, and if you want to know why you should be disappointed on what these four items are, keep watching. Now, in this game, using the Amiibos, you can get yourself the Ocarina of Time outfit, you can get yourself the Tunica Time outfit, you can get yourself the 8-bit Link outfit, you get yourself the Toon Link outfit, you get so many outfits for all the different Links. Something that boggled my mind for quite a while is there is no tunic for this game. Yeah, there's a champion shirt, there's an old shirt, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but there's no tunic. Until we did a little guide diving. And apparently, this game does have a tunic of the wild. I'm gonna go so far as to say is getting to it, not easy. I mean, it, it is easy if you got some, if you got some cojones. You know how, you know how to go, you know how to navigate, you got no problem, man. What you need to do before that is a little rough. You need to get and complete every single shrine in the game. Now when I say every single shrine, I'm talking about, I'm talking about all of these. Every single shrine throughout the entire place. You need to do every single one of them. And let me tell you something, there is a lot of them. To be exact, there are 116 optional shrines in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When you complete the final 120th shrine by interacting with its altar, you'll trigger a quest entitled A Gift from the Mox. You'll be told that a reward waits for you at the Forgotten Temple. This is a secret landmark found at the north end of the Tanagar Canyon. The Forgotten Temple is guarded by numerous decayed guardians. Unless you're willing to destroy them all by reducing their laser beams, the easiest solution is to speed through the entire location, using the updrafts to remain airborne most of the time. If you should remain at maximum velocity throughout, all enemy shots should miss. When required, make small lateral adjustments to avoid being shot from behind. The reward is no less than the Of the Wild armor set, Cap of the Wild, Tunic of the Wild, and Trousers of the Wild. You'll find it at the foot of the goddess statue at the back of the local shrine. How difficult is this place to, to actually get to? Good question, me, to myself, to create dialogue. So actually getting there, not that hard. All you gotta do, right there, Forgotten Temple, it's on the map, it's right at the bottom of that mountain, and it's right behind the Serene Stable right here. If you run, and that right there, let's zoom in, that is the Forgotten Temple. Now, I actually accidentally wandered over here much, much earlier in the game. And when I wandered here, the first thing I did, as soon as I walked into the Forgotten Temple, was shit my pants. Soon as you walk in, you don't think anything of it, but then instantly, all of the Guardian's eyes light up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six in the first room alone. They're all gonna aim directly at you. Reckless stuff right there. What do you have to do? You gotta be an ace with the power glider. You gotta get up, you gotta get down, you gotta fly, you gotta avoid every single one of those lasers, and then make your way through that little tiny hole in the wall. Or, you know, kill them all individually, but that seems like a, a big waste of time and ancient arrows. So, once you're in the second room, boom, more guardians. They're out to get you. And worst part is, you can't even destroy these guardians to try to get cores, because the decayed guardians don't reward you cores or giant cores. They just give you screws and uh, and the other stuff. No cores, so that, that's, that's the biggest shame. You're gonna come to this shrine right here. Now this should essentially be your 120th shrine, the Rana Kacha Shrine. And right behind here is the statue. Once you complete the game on top of this podium, you will find three treasure chests. It has the tunic of the wild, the cap of the wild, the trousers of the wild. By the way, if you go inside of this shrine right here, as we're gonna do, it's a blessing shrine. You're gonna get a great flame blade. That's awesome. And an orb, but that's it. As far as I can tell, that is the completionist gift for all of the shrines. That's it. If you complete every single shrine, that's what happens. You get that outfit. What does that outfit boast for you? What are the benefits of that tunic and those pants and that hat? Sorry, those trousers. It's, it's their pants. The cap of the wild, the tunic of the wild, and the trousers of the wild. 
They each have a defense of 7. When fully upgraded, they're level 28. The set bonus is Master Sword Beam Up. And that's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's all they do. To be fair, the rest of the tunics in the game, including the Skyward Sword set, Ocarina of Time set, the Twilight Princess set, Wind Waker set, and the original Legend of Zelda set, when those are fully upgraded, they only have a power of 20. So yes, when fully upgraded, actually throughout its entire process, the Tunic of the Wild and the entire Wild set has a better statistic, but not by a whole lot. There's actually only two other sets of armor in this entire game that compete with that exact number, that have a total of 28 once fully upgraded. And that's the Soldier's Greaves, which is that giant metal suit of armor that you get from Hatino Village, the Ancient Helm, the Ancient Curious, and the Ancient Greaves, so the Ancient Armor, that you get from all the way up northeast, the Ancient Research Lab. Those are gonna be tied for 28 defense. That makes a total of three sets of armor in the entire game that have a total stat of 28. One of them you get for having some cores, some other ancient stuff lying around and some money. The other one you get for a very small amount of money, and this one you get for completing every single shrine in the game. But if you're telling me that the only thing that we get in this game for completing all of it, for going through all 120 trials, all 116 optional trials, that all we get is an outfit that's green and slightly more powerful than the other green outfits, I think that's a ripple. You think that's bad? You should find out what you get when you get all 900 Korok seeds. You get gold poop. That's a real thing. That is a real thing. You get gold poop. <laughs> I wish I could make that up. You get gold poop. It's probably not called that. I obviously have not found all 900 Korok seeds yet. It is, it is essentially gold poop. I have an image of it on the screen right here. Boop. When you do that, if you get all 900 Korok seeds, you're going to be given this unique item known as Hetsu's Gift, enabling you to trigger the creature's signature dance at will. That's it. That's it. All you get to do is do the dance with the maracas. Ah, uh, that is, that is sad. That is so sad. Guys, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about this? About after all you do in the entire game, all you get is a green outfit just as powerful as two other pieces of armor that you could get significantly earlier without completing all 116 shrines. And after all you get for all 900 Korok seed puzzles, you get some gold poop. And that gold poop lets you make this guy dance whenever you want. That's it. Of course, on top of, you know, the other benefit of just having stars and stamina and full inventory slots. I want to know your thoughts. Leave your thoughts down below on what you think about this. Leave some love down in the description down below. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.